Um, I, I, I uh, spent about half my childhood in, Ca in Canada and half my childhood in the United States. Because my mother was American, so I would often stay with other members of the family or whatever. Sort of in New York State and Upper New York State and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and places like that. Um, I don't feel British. And I don't feel American. I, I actually think I am Canadian. And I think there's a major difference. Um, I think when you grow up, nec when your country is basically next to the major power, um, you have a very different sensibility of power um, and of, re of respect for power and the misuse of power. So I was born in Niagara Falls um, in 50 years ago, 1946. I think there's several agendas. I'm a big man. I like big things. Um, I want the photographs to be referenced to art. So they have a dimension that's similar to painting, um, similar to drawing, similar to major graphics. Um, I don't want the pictures to be easily dismissed. Um, a lot of the images deal with taboos or questions of masculinity. Um, so I want you to have those images are a confrontation to that and, and I think the size is partly a confrontation. Um, most of the pieces that are black and white are made in a tri-edition so there's small prints, medium-sized prints and large prints so that um, the public can actually buy a smaller image. Be one, because people's living rooms don't house eight-foot images um, and, and then there's a middle format for, for industry and usually the museums want the larger photographs. So what I've done is I've set it up as 10 small ones, five medium ones, five large ones, but they're all in that addition of 20. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Ask me a good, funny question. <laughs> Actually, my brother was gay as well, so I have a gay brother, and or had a gay brother. Um, but one, I think one has to talk about one's own history. Um, it would be impossible for me to turn around and do um, a lot of chica photos <laughs> because I'm not interested in that. So, um, so I work with what I know, what I'm comfortable with, where my desires are, where my fantasies are. Um, and work with documenting places that are relevant to me, to my being, rather than, than relevant to someone else. Because I'm not going to make anything for someone else. I'll make it all for myself. My first pleasure is to make the work for me. And I think, you know, being gay, coming out, you come out in stages. You come out again and again and again. You come out when you first have a lover. You come out within the community. And then um, you, you, there's a coming out to the family or to the parents, and then there's a coming out publicly, and then there's, there can be a coming out politically, so that you make a really conscientious effort that you're, you, you or your work or a certain time period in your life is going to be political. So, so, and so you continually are coming out. Uh, um, I don't think it's, it's um, a one-shot deal. I mean, you're always having to reevaluate and re-estimate where you are and what you're going to do. 25 years. So we're looking at how? <laughs> With another man, how else do you think? <laughs> um, I've been with the same man for 17 years. So we have a long relationship. Um, he lives in Buenos Aires, uh, in Argentina. Um, I live in North America or Europe. We see each other occasionally. Um, but I still think he's the love of my life. Well, you ask serious questions. I need, I need something about your personality, about your... Take your shirt off. <laughs> the Ram Boys for me it was, was actually a promiscuous boy culture. Um, and, and yet, in making the work, I mean, it's a really... Uh, we're incredibly playful. We spend a whole day taking photographs and eating and drinking and playing music and dancing and etc. 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 And I, I will turn it around because we because Pierre is also has a show up at the uh, Architecture, um, and all of his photographs are women, and no one will ask him why they're all women. 
it is a political reference. I think, you know, the people do, because you are gay, people want to have those questions about that word. Uh, but no one turns around and sees that if you're heterosexual, there's a normality to it. If you're homosexual, there's an abnormality to it yeah. and becomes a, a curiosity. Um, and so, so the, the, this piece was, is really important. It's one of those times when you actually got to play um, with your mother. You got to do something that I think was very special for both of us. Love. I only think about love. <laughs> My mom and I have a really close relationship. We, you know, there's no, there's no distance between us. We can joke each other. We tell each other dirty stories and stuff. So, so um, this one time, about four or five years ago, my father had just been really awful to her before she left. And he makes her life difficult when he doesn't have to. So she came to Montreal, and um, we were having dinner, and I said, Ah, so you're going to take your clothes off tomorrow? And she said, Yes. And this is like 25 years after the initial question. And I wanted it in the show because, um, <clears throat> because the show, all the rest of the images are male, I wanted the boys to have some sort of wisdom goddess that was not uh, paternal. I wanted it outside of masculine. Um, so my only option was to take it into the feminine. Um, so, so, you know, she plays the role very well. Photography is, is a medium of truth. We, we think it is. Um, and I think it's really a medium of fiction. It's all fiction. So. Yeah, you know, I think, I think my taste in music is really eclectic. So, you know, I'm, I will listen to African music. I will turn around and listen to jazz. I will listen to Chilean music. I will listen to God Save the Queen. I think it's my song. Um, you know, so, you, you know, it, 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 I will listen to all sorts of things. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a di it's a, we're probably splitting dialogue here, but, but I'll think of the large Polaroids as drawings, or as paintings, okay? And I think of the black and white work as drawings. So I don't feel frustrated at all. But I think that the work has a sensibility of painting or drawing. The medium is different. So you have to, I mean, you know, death comes to you sooner or later. Um, you just should have a really good time until it does. Um, because it gives you a license, okay? Um, so, so there is a body of work under a um, uh, pseudonym of Ivar Gonzalez, which um, initially was, I perceived as an 80-year-old Spanish woman with cataracts and sore feet, and she, had to be, she tended to be a bitch towards the world. And, um, and so it meant that you could go and do things, and if you were living that persona, you had a right to make those photographs. Um, I also work under Celluloso Evergoni, which is a lot of the homo rococo, homo Baroque, homo high renaissance pieces, uh, which referenced a lot of painting and sculpture previously. Um, and Egon Brut, who is, falls in eroticist slash pornographer. And then she was just, um, she was 47 when we started to make the photographs. So she was an older woman. Um, older woman. And, um, um, and was one of those women who looked after me at that time. You know, I was, um, I wasn't sexual, um, at that point I was asexual, and she was a good friend and we just hung out, we had good times together. <laughs>